Good morning. My lecture for this afternoon would be on breastfeeding. So, for preventive medicine, we will leave the heavy anatomy and the theoreticals of breastfeeding to your other subjects such as pediatrics and obstetrics. So, what we would focus on would be common breastfeeding concerns such as common difficulties and barriers to which mothers stop breastfeeding such as their problems. So objectives for this lecture would be to identify and describe the common breastfeeding difficulties and problems of mothers, to discuss and explain how to manage common maternal breastfeeding difficulties such as inadequate milk, crying, and a baby who refuses to feed. To describe the management of common breast problems such as flat or inverted nipples, sore nipples, engorged breast, and mastitis. To explain the importance of counseling skills in helping mothers with breastfeeding concerns. So, common difficulties. So, what are the most common reasons why mothers discontinue breastfeeding? So they would say, not enough milk. My baby is not being fed enough. Your baby is crying, cannot get milk adequately, and it is easier to place a bottle of milk on the baby's mouth instead of the baby's effort to suck on the nipple. And your breast refusal, especially if you have inverted nipple, your baby refuses to feed on the breast. So how do we address the problems of not enough milk? So mother thinks she does not have enough breast milk. So usually this would be 500 ml to a liter. Baby would not get enough breast milk because of ineffective suckling due to wrong position. And mother cannot produce enough. Mother may have psychological factors such as lack of confidence, stress, dislike of breastfeeding because they think that it may disfigure the body, disfigure the breast, rejection of baby, tiredness. Or mother has physical conditions such as contraceptive pills, pregnancy, severe malnutrition, alcohol, smoking, retained placenta, and poor breast development. So how do we help mothers experiencing difficulty in breastfeeding? So counseling is important to take the feeding history, assess the feed, so directly observe the mother breastfeeding her child, so learn why mother has doubt, her ideas and feelings, and give praise for good points and effort. So correct mistakes without being sounding critical. Arrange follow-up as soon as possible. So for the crying baby, what are the possible reasons? So discomfort, it may be dirty, it may be cold or maybe hot in the feeding room. Tiredness could be too many visitors, illness or pain, you notice the pattern of crying, hunger, not getting enough milk because the first days of life would be growth spurts and has increased demand of breast milk. So how do we help the mother and child? So again, counseling is very important. Assess, praise when relevant. Empathize with what the mother is going through such that we give relevant information to aid in breastfeeding and give practical help. So if there is refusal to feed, possible reasons would be the baby is ill, sedated or in pain, or there are changes which upsets the baby. 
change in the carer, mother is menstruating, there is separation. So refusal, 4 to 8 months, it's easily distracted. More than 1 years old, the baby may be self So in summary, so you practice your listening and learning skills. So your communication skills lecture back in first year would come in handy. Build mother's confidence and support skills. Assess so that you could breastfeed properly. So help mother to position and attach her baby properly. And take a detailed feeding. So these are the maternal breastfeeding problems adapted from the WHO manuals. So normal breast would vary in appearance. So each woman would have a unique set of breasts and would have different breast forms. So large and small breasts, so it would produce various positions to support her baby. There would be flat or inverted retracted maple syringe or pump, so you could do cup feeding, but still breast milk, expressed breast milk. So it would simulate that the baby sucks from breast and not from the nipple. So long or big nipple, so use the underarm position. So your C position or cup feeding using expressed breast milk. So reassure that the mother that the baby's mouth will grow, but the nipples will not. So normal breast with sebaceous gland and Montgomery glands on the areola for lubrication, protection could be used to navigate to the breast by its smell. The lower nipple is retracted and presence of scar of previous lesion or operation, hence you need to motivate mother to breastfeed because of the Filipino belief that once you undergo breast operation, you cannot make breast milk anymore. On the right side, the size of the nipple does not matter. Test whether nipple is protracted or not. So picture of a protracted nipple. So push the nipple towards the chest wall and if it protrudes, that nipple is protractile. Pull often, especially before feeding time. So how do we manage flat or inverted nipple? So there's antenatal treatment and counseling for these situations, such that we build the mother's confidence. Help mother to position the baby, usually in the underarm position. If baby can't suckle effectively in the first week or two, help mother to try the following. Express the breast milk and feed by cups or express to soften the breast before attaching to the breast. Syringe method for retracted method. So you pull the plunger to maintain steady gentle pressure. Do it for 30 seconds to 1 minute several times a day. Push plunger back to reduce suction if there is pain. So what it does is that it draws the nipple out, the retracted nipple out, such that it would be able to be sucked on. Sometimes there would be sore nipples, so due to poor attachment, due to candidiasis, poor deposition pump, or too much stretching of nipple caused by the pump or the wrong position. So you observe your feeding session and reassure the mother such that you have improved the attachment or positioning. Correct positioning would produce breastfeeding that would not produce any sound. Treat skin condition for candidiasis, either fungal or sore, antibiotics, or any antifungal, depends on the lesion. So what are the conditions shown here? So this is a full breast. This is how it would look like within few hours after delivery. 
So, hot, heavy, and hard. So, it is normal for these patients to experience fever unless breast milk is expressed. So, of course, treatment would be to feed as frequent as possible. And gorge breast, on the other hand, breast is over full. So, it's filled with milk, partly with increased tissue, fluid, and blood, and this would interfere with milk flow. Breast is shiny and edematous and painful, and milk does not flow well. So, nipple is stretch tight. So, since the nipple is usually retracted if it is engorged, carry baby in football hold position. Causes and prevention of engorgement. Plenty of milk, delayed starting of breastfeeding, poor attachment, and frequent removal of milk, and restriction of length of feeds. To prevent it, we start breastfeeding as soon as after your delivery. Ensure good attachment and encourage on the feeding. How do we manage? To stimulate the oxytocin reflex, you do the warm compress, massage the back, breast, nipple skin, make the mother relax, take a warm shower or bath, and after feed, put cold compress to help reduce edema. Build the mother's confidence. If patient has HIV, should express milk only to relieve congestion and not to increase production. Express only when breasts are over full to make her comfortable. You may give analgesics to relieve inflammation and discomfort. So this one, what condition is this? So this is breast mastitis. So if milk remains, is a part of the breast, it can cause inflammation or non-infective mastitis that can become infected with bacteria and lead to infective mastitis. So usually a long, tender, localized redness, no fever, feels well, could progress to a hard area, feel painful, red area, febrile, and ill, infective. Mastitis. Causes would be poor drainage of whole breast, infrequent feeds, ineffective suckling, pressure from the clothes or fingers during feeds, large breast drain poorly. So it could be stressed or overworked, reduce frequency of feed, trauma to breast due to damage to tissue, or cracked nipple allows bacteria to enter. Treatment to improve drainage of milk and identify causes. So frequent feeds or rest with baby, breast massage towards the nipple, warm compress between feeds, start feed on affected side, express if necessary, and make your feeding position different. Of course, we support with antibiotics and analgesics. For an HIV-infected mother, avoid breastfeeding on the side with mastitis, abscess, and fissures. So, this one has abscess on the areola portion, has pus extruding from the nipple. So, for breast abscess, again, build her confidence, warm comfort, and antibiotics. So, continue breastfeeding depending on the site of the abscess whether it be in the areola or the breast, and continue to express breast milk. So this one is a picture of candidiasis, a whitish scaly flaky lesion, and gives severe pricking-like sensation when baby is suckling. So treat with antifungal cream and apply it evenly for better absorption, preferably after feeding. So your candida is a shiny red area skin sore, Flaky is G and whitish with a burning, stinging sensation. This continues after a feed pain that shocks deep into her breast. 
Check baby also for thrush inside the mouth or diaper rash. Treat breastfeeding diet the mother and the baby. With nystatin cream or nystatin suspension for the baby, stop using pacifiers, teeth, nipple shields. In HIV, treat breast and trash and infant oral trash pump. So this one is an unequal breast due to belief that you always start breastfeeding on the right because it contains milk and the left contains water. So remember, explain what you want to do when you ever you do the breast exam. Ensure privacy. Ask permission before breast is exposed. Talk with mother and look at breast without touching. If you need to touch, do it gently. So explain your findings, highlight your positive signs, don't sound critical about the breast, build her confidence in her ability to breastfeed, and thank her for her cooperation. In summary, the most common reasons why mothers discontinue breastfeeding are not enough energy, crying baby, and breast refusal. To help mothers with breastfeeding concerns, help workers must practice listening and learning skills, Build mother's confidence, take a detailed history and help make mother position and attach their babies. The most common breast problems of mothers are breast and nipple forms, sore nipples, engorgement, block duct, mastitis, and breast abscess. Thank you for listening to this lecture. Please do subscribe to our channel for med lectures on preventive medicine and community health.